What's up guys, it's Green Day Bowser. Here's a short renovation of a house in Windenburg. And this is actually because, um, so I'm kind of getting bored with my main Let's Play, but I promise I'm going to keep doing it, especially because I'm actually doing pretty well and I'm almost done with like the main bulk part of it. So I figured I would continue doing it, but um, this is also to announce a separate second Sims 4 Let's Play that I'm going to be starting which is more specifically a get-together let's play, doing stuff with get-together, and so I'm putting in a room for the DJ booth and the dance floor, because the sim that you will see introduced in the next part is actually a sim that I just made yesterday, and that's why I ended up having the idea to do a new let's play with him, and decided that get-together is the perfect um, pack to do it with, because he kind of fits that vibe and that aesthetic. Um, he's actually a sim that I made messing around in Sims 2 yesterday, and I ended up remaking him in Sims 4 at the same time. If you saw, caught a glimpse of him in the corner, there he is, and so he's going to be the star of it. But I was just adding this extra room, like I said, and I do some more stuff to the inside, mostly layout fixes, but not too much, which is why you'll notice that at times 4 speed, this is only like a 7 minute video. Um, but yeah, so basically this is supposed to be kind of a... It's still a starter, but it's like one of the more expensive starters, even though it was a really cheap place to start, because um, my idea is that the guy who owns this house, which again, you'll meet later, kind of splurged just out on expensive stuff. So he bought the DJ booth and the dance floor, and his bedroom is filled with a bunch of things, and he has a nice computer. Well, not really nice, but you know, he has a computer. And, you know, so he made sure that he had all those. And so he actually will only start off with like $500 or something, not even, maybe like, $500, $400 when I actually start, which is going to be kind of hard, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how things go. Right now we're doing layout fixes with the staircase, um, just because I didn't really like the way it was placed in, and I figured I could probably fix that, and so that's what I ended up doing, and then I end up changing it even more later after. But we move around and add a couple counters to the kitchen, just because we might as well, and then we move around some of the furniture here. But I kept most of the furniture that was in the actual house. Um, which is surprising, considering it was very scarce, but I liked that idea, because that's what I was going to do in the first place anyway. Was I was going to have it be this really scarce place that doesn't have much, but has his DJ booth and everything. I'm also trying to use move objects to put a TV up there. I ended up not even using that TV, because it looked too nice. Um, so I ended up just using that really cheap one. And I was going to scale it up, but it was too big, so I just scaled it back down and used it. And then, when I go rugged... Uh, uh, You'll notice that I don't use any CC in the bottom floor, but then when it gets to the bedroom, I end up saying screw it and using some, because I originally wasn't planning on it, but like I wanted this to be a non-CC house, at least at the start, but then I ended up changing my mind and decided that I might as well, just because bedroom stuff. Uh, mostly because I was trying to find a nice bed for him, and then realized I might as well just use one of the separated frames, so I did. So here we are with probably the most in-depth layout fix was changing this upstairs because it was kind of weird and I didn't like the I didn't like the way the bathroom door was way over there so I ended up just deciding to kind of make this loft area which was pretty hard at first I'll admit to kind of get to the game to let me do it because I mean like obviously I've done it with other houses before and I've seen other people do it but the way that this was and the way that the room system works it was kind of iffy with me so I we put a little cheap fence there that disappeared and then we were able to delete what we wanted. But then I had to work on this little section over here to fix an area back there. Which was kind of giving me some of the same problems. But we do end up getting it fixed. And then that just kind of becomes a little one square thing. Which doesn't get used for anything. It's just there. But for now that's what works. And then there we go and we get that placed. And then we turn those walls to the color of the other side. And then we move the bathroom door, which means we have to move the stuff on the inside as well, which is fine. But we do replace that sink with a counter and the sink exactly, actually, from downstairs, just because that's easier. And then you can get a better mirror. And I think that's pretty much all we do to the bathroom, except for add a rug, I think, which is meant to be kind of like one of those bath mats. Yeah, we end up that adding that mirror, and then we add a black rug in the corner. And then here's the bedroom, and this is when CC ends up coming in. We use... I started looking through beds, and then we end up using a split frame, which is from Peacemaker, and then we use a bed from Veronica, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, we use the bed from uh, 
unobservant sims, which is now one of the miniature sandwich. Um, yeah, so we use those. And then we use an end table, which was a conversion from Sims 3, and I don't remember who that's from anymore, but yeah. And then trying to figure out where to put a closet, because I really wanted, like, a closet closet. So now that I'm glad that those are back, since Sims 3 didn't really have any, I don't think. But, uh, Sims 2 did, and so, you know. And then we got a variation of Sims 2 closets in Sims 4, and it was nice. So now we have a closet in there that's blue. I was going between blue and orange, so those tend to be the main colors that I used for them. And we just went with it, so that's there. And then we put a desk with a computer, but we fixed the eaves of the roof on the inside. Roof. Roof on the inside, and we get the desk in, which is actually from Kids Room Stuff, um, which just came out, and it's actually pretty good. And then we get a laptop, which is a Voronka laptop. I'm not sure which one it is, but I know it's one of them. And our chair is a conversion from, uh, I believe it's the Modern Loft something from Sims 3. I don't remember what it was called, but it had good stuff. And we have to do lighting. Which is the next thing. Notice we're already at 557 for dollars. And then I realized those were super expensive and didn't want them. So I originally put in these little desk lamps. But then realized downstairs has really cheap uh, ceiling lights that do better lighting. Bathroom was fine though. So I added one of those and that's when I realized, wait, those are good. So I put that in here and deleted the lamps that were in here. And it was fine. And then all that was left for lighting was the little downstairs area. So I was going to put one of those in and then decided that uh, he could splurge out and put one of the fancy lights in there, although I didn't like how that looked, so we did the um, in-ceiling light. And that'll pretty much be it, so I can't wait to see you guys in the Let's Play. Thanks. Bye.